Hey everyone, my name is Jacob. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your iPhone's camera as a camera in OBS, Streamlabs OBS, and basically any other broadcasting software on your Mac. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use it, the app that I'm using on my phone, how to get set up with OBS, and then afterwards I'm going to tell you why this app means so much to me. So anyways, let's get straight into it. The app that I'm using is called Shuttercast. I'm going to show you how we're going to set it up. So this is exactly what you'll see whenever you download Shuttercast on your phone. So we'll say, let's get started. Then they actually have different styles that you can choose. So you can choose uh, different colors of app icons and app themes. We're going to stick with blue because that's what I want to choose. <laughs> and we press next. And then we can, uh, there's some gestures that you need to know. Um, you can learn that whenever you're doing it and I'm ready. And there we go. So basically all I have to do now is connect your phone up to your Mac with the lightning cable. There's no software that you need to install your Mac uh, other than OBS, obviously. And then uh, open up the shutter. And here's what you'll see in the app. Um, this is what you're seeing right now from me. Uh, and then we can double tap to get the front facing camera and back facing camera just like that. I'm gonna be using this phone right here which has Suttercast downloaded uh, just because I'm using this phone for other things. Okay, so over on our Mac, let's open up uh, OBS. And um, yeah, and then we're just going to add a new scene and I'll just call this a uh, camera scene. Obviously I already have my scene set up over here from uh, my actual live streaming and stuff, but then we're gonna uh, press add a new video capture device. Um, I'll just leave it called video capture device. And then we're gonna choose the device as Jacob's iPhone. Set the preset as high. And there we go. So obviously right now it's in portrait mode, which is completely fine. If that's what you want, definitely go with that. You don't have to do anything to the video, uh, but you can also uh, crop it so you can make it into a square. But for this video, I want to set it as landscape because that's what a lot of people are going to be using it for. So anyway, we're going to go into OBS and go to transform and then rotate uh, 90 degrees like that. And now I'm actually going to rotate my camera just like that. And there we go and kind of repos reposition it. And then I'm gonna scale this camera up a bit and there we go. Now we have the camera, I'm using my iPhone's camera as a camera and OBS and it looks great. So yeah, now we can add a bunch of things on top of this if you want to, like an audio input and all that sort of thing. That's not necessarily what this video is about. So uh, uh, Shuttercast has so many help stuff in there so you can learn how to add these different things learn how to do different uh transformations to your video and filters and stuff like that so uh yeah that's all laid out in the uh shuttercast app and there's also tutorials in the shuttercast app for getting set up as well um one thing that i do want to point out is this only works from iphone to mac so you cannot use it from iphone to pc this is only iphone to mac and like i said the only apps that we have tested this with is um obs and streamlabs obs but if you're using another broadcasting software Software on your Mac, the probability that that broadcasting software will work as well is very high. So anyway, I want to talk a little bit about why this app means so much to me because um, it's actually pretty cool. So this app was actually developed solely by me. Uh, I'm very proud of it, obviously. I really wanted to show it to you guys. Um, I This has been a quarantine project that I've been working on. So I started this at the beginning of quarantine. And you know, as, as quarantine is starting to open up, I have released it. Um, so basically where this app came from was I was looking for an app to use my iPhone as a camera on OBS, obviously. And I found this app in the app store. I'm not going to name any names or anything like that, but, uh, it was a very nice app, but it was $15. And I was like, that's just way too much. I feel like there should be a cheaper app and I could not find another one that worked right. So I was like, you know what? I'll make an app for myself. So I did. And then after I used it, I was like, you know what? I should make this available to the public. So then I started developing the app to be available to the public, just like I said. And so, yeah, that's kind of where we are right now. Um, I have the app on the app store. Um, I'm very proud of it. So yeah, that's where we are right now. The app is on the app store. There's a link in the description. Uh, I do have it on 99 cents because I needed, I, I didn't want to put ads on the app, uh, but I also did not want to make it $15. I want to make it pretty cheap. Um, so that y'all could use it. Um, so yeah, it's out there for y'all to use. Uh, I'll leave a link to the app store uh, link. And also I made a cool website for it. I'm a very big fan of the website as well. So yeah, um, I'm very proud of it. I wanted to share it with you guys because I'm just like the biggest fan of it. And um, in my opinion, it works perfectly. I'm not just trying to sell, sell this to you guys because I made it, but um, honestly, it works perfectly. I use it for all my live streams. All my live streams that you've seen, I've been using this app for these past few months. So um, surprise, I've been using this app for quite a while. Uh, obviously, I, I don't want to put it out on the app store and not work. Um, so yeah, that, uh, that's kind of, that's it for the video. I just, I just really wanted to show you guys this app, share with you guys what I've uh, been working on during quarantine. And, um, yeah. So like I said, link in the description where you can go check it out. Um, yeah, I, I, 
I hope you guys like it. I I've really been working on this for a while, and yeah, I hope that you guys like it. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I guess I will see you all in the next video. If you liked this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, and subscribe and click that bell to be notified whenever I publish more videos like this. Tell me in the comments below if you want me to add anything to the Shuttercast app, or if you want me to, to really do anything, just, just tell me down there and I will take all of your ideas into consideration. That's a, another great thing about this is I can hear from you guys and improve on the app. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. I hope you guys enjoy the app. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>